still on justice for Mubad. A lot of things have been happening in the couple of uh, 72 hours to this particular moment. And it seems after the autopsy and toxicology report that the pathologist in charge claim inconclusive. Well, you know, the next is for human sources to get this justice for mobile. What you're about to watch, what you're about to hear will shock you. This is deep. This is unbelievable. Everything is coming back to what we said at the beginning, that there is something mysterious about the demise of Mubad. And those that are around him, they know what happened to him. But because of greed, 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 and personal vendetta. Talking about vendetta, I mean Mubad's mother. Personal vendetta. Greed involved. Some said acute poverty, penury. But I asked myself, is that enough? to turn the heart of a mother against her own son. She preferred to protect the interest of the prime suspect, the so-called wife of Mubad. But now that things are beginning to tumble out, I don't think uh, any of the guilty involved in the demise of Mubad will be spared. Justice for Mubad, there is no turning back. Justice for Mubad is justice for humanity. It might be someone close to you tomorrow. It might be you. That is why everybody needs to stand strong on this one until the final of it is gotten. Like I said, human sources is the way out after science failed. Let us get right into this. But before proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Returning subscribers and those that have been here, I say a very big thank you to you. Not reality. It's not movie. reality. Good. Now he met a girl and he fell in love. Being the first love, he was so much into her. Then he went for him for a shot. He went for for um for a delivery in that cartel. Yeah. He went for a delivery in that cartel. Then a bad some bad guys unveiled unveiled him. Is it unveiled? Yeah. yeah. Invade him and take the take the powder off his hand. Then he rushed back to the boss and said, "Boss, somebody take my product from me." Yeah. And the boss said, "Okay." Little did we know in this movie that this boy actually actually sold it. Yeah. And get. And 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 keep the money to himself. Yes. And keep the money to himself. Then making the the the, the boss, the cartel boss, knowing that it was uh, it was hijacked from his hand. You know, yes. such happened now in this cartel yes. movies we used to watch. This one this is American movie we used to watch. Yes. Then shortly after, the boy went and buy a house. You know, he mm -hmm. break out of that cartel and join another cartel. Then he buy a house, you know. He started doing the same deal to in that new cartel, or he got a new baron. We are started working for them, and he began yeah. to make plenty money. Okay. Little did we know that it was the money that he took from that other boss that he was using to, you know, start a life of he his own. a new life with the yeah. new cartel. If I was to write a uh, movie. If I have to write a movie on mobile spy, that's what I'm doing. Not reality. No, no it's a, it is a, it is a friction. It's a movie. It's a friction. Good. Yes. Or a novel. Thank you, guys. Yes. So, he has to, he now begins to make a life for himself. So, uh, it, they got surprised. How could this boy do this? That is for my boss. Yeah, that is for my boss. How could he be spending such money, buying plenty cars, building house, you know, hoeing wealth yeah. within yeah. a tinkle of few months? I want, I want to investigate this boy. Remember, the woman is in so much in love with. She it's works in, in that other. old car. Yeah. The woman is in love with, or the woman 
his 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 girlfriend works with the old cartel where he 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 he, he caught man. You have to investigate what your your boyfriend did with our money. So they went ahead. The girl started working close to the boyfriend. You know, she was doing things with the boyfriend, pretending to love him, but she was working for her boss, trying to get information on how he got those money and all of that. And she realized at this point her man has made it big because the new cartel he joined or the new group he joined are really helping him out. Okay, they are really giving him uh, programs. That should give him um, a job to go and do. So he's making money big time with this new group. So she decided to stay and get her own share while she invest. She she give reply to her boss. It's a script, though, not not reality. It's fiction. Then later along the line, no alive. It happens. It happens that. She find out what she need to find out. She, she took it back to the boss. Mind you, she wasn't so much in love with this man. She was there as, as someone that wants this money and doing what the boss have sent her to come and do. She wasn't truly in love with him. So that makes her, while they were dating, she goes out for a few days, comes in, she goes. In fact, she is in plenty of hookup sites. She will just want to be, to be herself. She want to be everywhere. You know, a, a pretty young girl trying to, you know, that wants to be everywhere, you know? Yeah, so, along the line, along the line, she took in some, somewhere. So when she took in, she realized, oh my God, I am pregnant. And if I, as I'm pregnant, I can't fulfill or finish my job that I'm being given by my boss. I need to do something. I have to pin this thing on this boy so that so that I can I can remain in his life until I finish my assignment. Okay. Are we there? Yes. Hello, who is tired? I'm here. Claire I'm movies. Here. I'm here. Claire movies. Are, are you a movie producer? I'm writing you a script though, so that you can go and produce it as a film. I'm writing you a script to go and produce for us as a script, as a movie. Hello, so along the line, she went to she actually succeeded in pinning it on the on the man, on the boy. So she can remain in his life and, and finish fulfill her assignment. So along the line, actually something that happened. The guy begin to find out that, oh my God, this girl isn't pregnant for me. Some, this something is not right. I have to know who is the father of this baby. I have to know how she got pregnant. How can she say I am the one when I wasn't even around where she took in? So curiosity was everywhere. He was curious. He was, he was looking at her like, what is happening with this girl? You know, along the line, he find out eventually that the baby wasn't his. When he find out it wasn't his, he decided to ask questions. How? Who owns this baby? She said, it is your baby. How can you tell me it's not your baby? You are the father of my son. I took him for 10 months. I have, I have this baby for you. And he said, okay. It's crazy. So they begin to plan to leave the country because they don't want to have their baby in an environment where their life will be in danger. In danger. Yeah. Because he is still scared of the old boss. That they may still come after him. So he doesn't want the baby to be in danger. In danger. Yeah. So they went to the uh, they went to the embassy, they got the visa, they prepared for a visa, and boom, bumper clash. Something big happened again. Yeah. When 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 the the embassy did the 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 the, the, the DNA of the when baby. When they applied for the visa, the embassy did the DNA. Yeah, they applied for visa. Yes, I, I just said that they applied for a visa, and why they applied for a visa, the embassy asked them for DNA, 
and they did DNA with the baby and themselves, and it appears that the baby wasn't a match with the father. So it, 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 it was denied for the baby, but the father and the mother was accepted. Then the woman feel like, how can I travel without my child? What can I do? This is my baby. Huh? I can't leave him and travel. Huh? And I can't let this boy go away from my hand. Because if he do, I wouldn't fulfill my mission. Oh my God. Where will I start from? What can I do? So she, she, so she took advice from her boss. Bad advice. Then the boss said, what? You mean it? Oh my God. Okay, 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 fine. This is what you do. Let's hand him. Okay. We gotta hand him before he leaves the country. Mm -hmm. We gotta hand him. So now since he's leaving, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't pretend to be, to be monitoring him. Let's hand him. Aye. Hmm. It's so sad. Then, what happened next? They hand the boy. They hand the boy. Because he got they a visa. The they, they got a visa the next day he's dead. Oh, okay. They hand the boy. So she has to hand him. Then, the boss has to come in this time. And, and tell everybody in the house, okay, you, the younger brother, I'm, I'm going to make you a celebrity. You're going to mm -hmm. continue where, where your brother stopped. I'm yeah. going to make you somebody. You're going to yes. be great again. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. But all I need from you is to be silent over the whole issue. Never yeah. you tell anyone. You, the wife, I will, you will go back to the father of this baby. You will start your life afresh. You, yeah. the friends, the dancers in the house, all of you, I will give you 50 million naira each. Go home and start your life afresh. That's how the boss did. And everybody kept silent, kept mute, mute. over the issue. They removed the camera in the house. They cleaned him up. They employ an hospital to do, to remove some vital organs from his body. Because yes. of course, of course, the, the boss wouldn't forgive him with that amount of money it took away from him. So they have no, to remove his have organs. To. Yes. They have to remove his organs and sell and make money. Okay? Yeah. And retrieve their money. So they go and also do that did a clean job on the boy. You know? After the after the clean job, they they they, they ask them to bury him immediately. you see another thing i want to add to this is if you if you're this type like i like me but particularly i love action movies i don't see you don't see me watching Nigerian movie actually so and mobad 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 case is coming out like american movie if we can get people that has the money that has that has the link to to travel abroad and act this movie eh? oh. If it's, if it's not um, if it's, uh, Hollywood that act this movie, it will be a banger. It will be, it a, will be a banger. Of the, I'm telling you. But after they finish the movie, they'll power all of them. <laughs> Where did they get the story? <laughs> oh, hey. You know something? One bit, one thing again you, you don't know is Mobad is everywhere. You see these Americans, they have this story. Oh, they have they, it. Will, and they, are going to, they are going to write that story. They are going to. They, they are I going to write it and they will activate it. They can even make it Africa slash American movie. You know how they used to mix African and American movies together? They will act yeah. it. I'm telling you, they will act it. Because it's just too, 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 somebody too, is, too. Somebody is asking. Are there any update on the DNA? Who are they asking? Are they asking me or what? Yeah, they are. They just uh, somebody just wrote DNA it. is a must, too. Yeah, but I um somebody was saying that uh, is it yesterday? I was moving around. Some people were talking about discussing about. They said she did the DNA and it's mobile chat. Is it true? I beg you. Oh, okay. that, that is the, that, that is Yabo Joe 
please uh, subscription to the DNA that uh, she has done it. So we're saying she used Adura's Adura's uh, sample to with the baby. No. It, it match. They have to use saying, they use IA, So I'm saying they use IA Mobad and his no. match. They have I don't know use... what the kind of DNA they are doing. Yeah, they have to use Babas because but the gene is from Baba. So they have to use Babas, the head. But at the end of the day, um, all this, if they have to do it, Baba have to stand there. Uh, lawyers have to be there to do it. And then they have to make sure that there's no... Uh, they haven't done DNA. I don't mind anybody I know, talking I know, that in. Because they are still looking for her. I know that one. That's what she want them to say. Ah, she they have done DNA. Who wants but to use know, Adura sample? But you know, there's they forgotten that if Mobad have been interviewed to the Canadian embassy with all that, they still have it. The the embassy have it, right? Yes, the embassy have it. I've never heard anybody who has talked about that. If they went to the embassy to apply and then the embassy denied the kid, that means the embassy have the copy of the DNA. That is what um, they have to, the lawyers have to think about it because if they have been in the embassy, apply for the visa, and then the baby was denied because the baby was not mobile. Then, then the the uh, the embers uh, the lawyers can go uh, up, ask the uh, what's the name the Canadian embassy if they have the co if they can get a copy of the DNA because if they have done it, Canadian embassy have done it. Then Canadian embassy have it. Because then they will not get a false, a false, um, a false something. It's hard though. So, are you saying if if the embassy is being approached, they can give them? Uh, because you know, if the only the thing is, if only the mobile and the baby and. Who may have done that? Uh, they have done DNA through the. But I feel, I feel, I feel that that a class a classified information for the embassy. So if anyone if, has gone if, there, if the lawyers and can request for it, if the lawyers can show the reason why the guy got a visa and the, that at the same time he dies, and he had a fight with the wife, that means. Is going through. I don't know how it, it is works. so sad. It is so sad. It's not as if uh, we've not lost people in Nigeria or even all over the world. Millions of people are passing away, the same as billions of people are being born into this world. But then, as human beings, we have to check and find out by means of science, technology. And also through human resource to know if another wicked evil person is behind the demise directly or indirectly of another human being what does that mean it means that you do not have the right to take the life of anybody you don't have the life you don't own it it is not on the palm of your hands so you cannot take someone else's life because you don't have that life. You don't own it. Well, the demise of Mobad has caused a lot. I mean, so many insinuation, narratives here and there. And the reason why it became this way is because the police that was supposed to do the needful, they stupidly failed the family of Mobad. And also they failed Nigerians. They failed Nigerians. The way the case of Mobad was handled is uh, it's an intentional um, approach to botch the case. They made all of the moves by sending, I think, a nine-man team down to Mobad's house. But what we expected them to do, they did not do. Did they confiscate the mobile phones of those involved? No. 
Was there any forensic analysis done on their smartphones to find out what and what could have happened? No. Let's say at that time, the information that was being carried around is that uh, Naramali, Sam Larry are involved. And later we started hearing from Mubat's uh, wife that Mubat's childhood friend called Prime Boy is behind this. But there was no evidence or proof, audio, visual, none. How then? We tried to find out where and how it all happened. They said they went for a show. On their way back, disaster struck. When did Mubad pass away? They said some couple of days. We are not too sure. Eventually, nurse was brought into it. Nurse Fiishara. They say she's not a qualified nurse, an auxiliary nurse, known all over Nigeria. Unqualified nurses. They are apprentices. Somehow, I don't know how they graduate to become nurses. Still in Nigeria, all of this is supposed to be dealt with. Eventually, she was uh, arrested. Or maybe she walked down to the police to give a statement and then she was arrested. She was detained. She was detained. Prime boy was declared wanted. He came in with the with his lawyer. And with all that has happened so far, the corona inquest and the confusion of this case, after so many months, eight months, eight full months, waiting on autopsy and toxicology, eight full months, the pathologist came out with something that is not clear. They said that uh, they cannot ascertain that it is inconclusive. They don't know what could have bite Mobad based on science. Um, they have checked to find out if there is any foreign substance in his body that could have bite him. They could not find traces of alcohol. Maybe, maybe not. That probably would have uh, expired considering the duration. Maybe. Depends. And also substance abuse all of these things coupled with the medication that was administered to mobad the pathologist said well considering all of this and looking at all the factors um it is not uh, going to make sense for them to come to any verdict and that uh, mobad body had decayed beyond measure beyond so since it's that decay beyond the ability to give. They said, that's the end of it. Now, people started asking questions around and they said, no, it's not true that even the bones. Now, I am not a professional in that field to know what and what can be checked at a particular, you know, time frame of a body, of a cadaver. I don't know. You know, there are different types of tests done on a body. Different types of tests done on the body. So it will take you deep knowledge of it to understand what's happening. But you also know, we all know that a professional or a knowledgeable person can manipulate results or come up with something vague, something ambiguous. We, we know this too. So this is what is troubling a lot of people. Like for real, what is really happening? It means no one will be held responsible. For the demise of Mumbai. That's it. It's like the case of Sylvester Romani, the young boy who passed away in school. They said he was bullied, like how Mumbai was bullied. In between these, they said something happened to him, and all of a sudden, this boy passed away. They called the father and mother and said, hey, your, your son, your, your child is gone. The, 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 the parents of this child could not understand what and what. When we dug deeper a bit, we started hearing that there are certain people connected to that. And bullying, and one is a son of uh, a late politician in the southwest of Nigeria, and many others. In fact, we heard that some of the kids were flown out of Nigeria immediately to school abroad or to like uh, just step out, step off, step away. 
case became so complex. A lot of protests. The school was shut down, reopened, shut down. Autopsy, toxicology done. Cause of demise. We don't really know what's happening. Now, I'm not trying to put sentiment into it. There might be other issues. Yes, yeah, someone being bullied may not necessarily be the cause of the demise of that person. But because bully came out of it, it should be looked into also and dealt with. So people said, what do we do to minors? We cannot imprison them. Well, the case of Bobad has uh, opened the eyes of a lot of people to terrible things happening in our society and what must be done about it. This brought that togetherness. Although we have some few people who are uh, fantastically wicked, those people are saying that uh, it is better for them to stand in support of the wife of Bobad. They said they will be better there. They said there is no need for DNA paternity test to ascertain if there is a motive surrounding this demise itself because this lady, God woman, has refused, rejected DNA. Wants everyone to believe that that child belongs to Mobad. She came up with different stories and lies. She tried to cry, fake tears. There's nothing she didn't do. And we said, look, this is becoming too embarrassing. This is becoming foolish. Okay, we have supported you enough. We said you should not be bullied. But for this DNA, just get it done. You said you love Mobad and you said that child belongs to Mobad. So why, why, why is this? Why is this happening? So today, she has unwillingly accepted to get, she has, she has, will, she, she, has she, 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 she has refused to get DNA done. So she has to be compelled to do it. She has been unwilling all this while to get this DNA done. What does that tell you? It says a lot. It says a lot about the kind of people we should be with. And if you're with anyone, do not I just... This world is a world of battles and war. You cannot just sit back and, they, and then embrace whatever it is that you see and say, okay, life goes on. No, you have to always do what they call maintenance. Do not just allow... Even in a relationship or marriage, you have to do maintenance. You have to check if there are cracks. What's going on? You have to take decisive action. You don't have to say everything at times to that person until you find out full details, truth about certain things. And even when you find out, you need to call family members and everyone if you think that will save you or secure you. If Mubad had taken action, maybe. Now, some people said he was under a spell. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. But we saw lack of decision in the path of Mobad, we saw many things. And I, I want to believe that uh, a lot of people have learned lessons from this war. We saw a lot, a lot, a lot of things, a lot of things that should not be done. But that's the thing about human beings. That's the thing about human beings. That's the thing. Human beings can be like this, you know? Human beings can be like this. They can be this way. They can be this way. They know they are saying it, but they are not ready to take action. Maybe out of weakness? I don't know. But there is definitely something that will keep someone sitting down with a dangerous person or someone that you know um, can be you know, corrosive, someone that can harm you, someone that has proven times without number to be an enemy. Someone who has not supported you. What then are you doing with such a person? As a friend, not to talk of a, a girlfriend or, or, or partner or wife. Someone that will not support you, not because um, they are against the evil act or action that you are into. But you know that you are being oppressed and that person is against you. That person is not supporting you. The only thing they give to you is because maybe sometimes and you know that this is not right. How then are you with that person? These are questions to ask. How? What is it that is keeping you with such a person? It's strange. 
strange, 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 strange. It's strange. It's something that I just cannot even put my fingers on certain of these things. But we do go through these things in life as as people. We go through this this journey, these stages in life. Some are quick to take action. Some are not quick to take action. Some might be lucky somehow. But Mobad, he didn't get out of this. He didn't get out of it. He wasn't lucky. He wasn't lucky. Everything worked against him. Everything worked against him. There was this audio recording that got leaked back then. It, in fact, it's not just an audio recording, a video where he was screaming and saying, I saw Cynthia. That's the wife. I, maybe then, girlfriend or wife. I don't know. I saw Cynthia there. Oh my God, I don't know who to trust. If it has gotten to that point where you saw your girl, with your enemies and you know that these are your enemies not as if you are the one that has wronged them and you expect them to accept and just agree to it like that you hurt people you know fully you know fully and you are, have this close person this give her what they call send off let her go away and you go your way not uh, putting yourself in arms way putting yourself around such a person and um, thinking that it will get better. How, how, how are they going to be better? How are they going to change? Most wicked people remain wicked. They have chosen a pathway. Towards you, they have chosen that, that, that. It's a practice. It's like it's a character. It's a way of life. Whenever they see you, once you see someone, you know, let's say a mistake happens. Not because mistakes are good. A single mistake could end you, end your life, harm you beyond repair. But let us say you, you observe something being done repeatedly. This person is always repeating this. Terrorizing you. Causing you pain, anguish, sorrow. Always repeating it. You are amongst your friends. This person is repeatedly doing the same thing. And still acting like a friend around you. Calling you guys to hang out. But whenever you hang out, he wants to bully you that way. He wants to. It's time for you to call it quit with such a person. Doesn't make you a weakling. It's time for you to give that person what they call send off. Don't make it appear like you want to fight. No. Just slowly, slowly get rid of the person. Ah, what's up? I'm busy. Let the person know you do not want to hang out with them anymore. It's as simple as that. If Bobad had done that, maybe his life would have been preserved. Justice for Bobad. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.